I got into this crazy business. Uh, it basically began when I was in the food and beverage industry. Uh, I got interested in fine wines. And then uh, in 1987, our family started planting the, these vineyards. And I just was enthusiastic about the wines at that point and continued to, to make home wine and follow my, my dream. I worked with many great glasses of wine and, and many, many wines when I was in the food and beverage industry and, and it really intrigued me. I, I, I love that part of it. So I, I followed it from there. This property uh, originally was purchased by my ancestors in the late 1800s and they moved in next door to here and uh, they, there was grapes and they ran some cattle at that point until the teens when phylloxera came around and killed some vines because we didn't have resistant rootstocks at that time. And in the 20s, prohibition came around and really they lost any desire to grow grapes at that point. There wasn't much of a market. So apples went in and planted mostly Gravenstein apples. And as far as I'm concerned, that's the best pie in the world is Gravenstein apples. Uh, so they grew apples. And then in 1987, we started planting grapes again. And now we currently have 14 acres of grapes planted on the land. We're outside of Sebastopol. There's Gold Ridge soils here and they're fantastic for growing grapes. There's a lot of minerals in them. They're well drained and, and mostly the, the weather is the other factor in, in grape growing in this area. Uh, we have a marine layer that comes in. We're about an hour north of San Francisco and a few miles from the coast so that marine layer comes up the Russian River Valley and comes into the vineyard and that keeps the grapes cool at night and there's a diurnal fluctuation uh, between day and night by 30 degrees or so. And that cools down the grapes and keeps the grape acidity in there and that, that vibrant fruit flavor from Russian River Valley that everybody loves. I love it because you know you, you learn how to sus sustainably farm the, the lands and you know you, it's been on the family for a long time and you want to keep it that way so you really take care of them. Russian River is known for uh, many different wines. The warmer areas are you know your Zinfandels and uh, the cooler areas are Chardonnay and, and Pinot Noir and there's uh, Syrahs and everything and so it, it's very versatile. Uh, the wine we're featuring for Cellar Angels on the special is the 2008 Zinfandel. It's from the Russian River Valley Appalachian, which is in the heart of Sonoma County. And, and uh, I find a, this wine has a great nose. It's got varietal characteristics of blackberry in it. It's got a kind of a rich caramel. Um, and the mid palate is, is uh, it's nice and full with ripe cranberries, strawberry, a little black licorice, and then the, the tannin, since it's been in the bottle for a couple of years, the tannins are softening and, and you get cloves and pepper out of the, the finish. And uh, I, I like the, it's got a, a cream finish on it, which I, I really like. What keeps me going on this, a lot of it is we do a lot of charity events, is that's where we pour mostly. And uh, people come up to you after the event and say, you know, there's a lot of good wineries here, but you have the, the best wine. And, and that does keep me going. And, and Cellar Angels does a fantastic job and, and helps people pick their own charities on this. And I, I think that's just wonderful.